he talks about authenticity. So give a big hand for Mr. Sam Perrier. <laughs> Real Man Conference. What does that mean? What does it mean to be a real man today? You know, um, it occurs to me just now that we used to have passages in all societies from boys to men. For instance, uh, the Sioux Indians in North America used to have what they would call a vision quest. And on that vision quest, the boys, when they were old enough, would go into the wilderness by themselves with very little clothing, no food, for days at a time. And the, and the elders of the tribe would say to them, boys, go into the wilderness Stand in the wind and speak your name. And when they would come back, they would say, now you can stand with the men. We used to have that in every society for centuries, and we no longer have that passage. We no longer have the transition from us being boys, playing with our Xboxes to us being men playing with our Xboxes. We don't have that. We weren't given that ritual. Women, girls, automatically have a ritual because they get their menstrual cycle. And they first get a, a hint of that and they're scared and they're excited and they're worried and they're delighted because they feel like now I'm, I'm becoming a woman. We don't have that as men. We've lost something. And everywhere I go, I talk to all the women, and I talk to the men. Everywhere I go, every city I go to, uh, the women I talk to all say the same thing. They say, where are the real men? And what they mean is, where are the men who don't apologize for being men? Where is the joy of masculinity? We've lost it. And it's remarkable. We have women all over the world, they're saying, you know, where are the real men? Because men no longer have strength. And I don't mean caveman strength. Just strength, like from here. A center, a sense of, a sense of purpose. And men everywhere are wondering, why are women not attracted to us? Because we've lost that element of masculinity. And, you know, I, I say it this way, we're all born under the aegis of uh, the era of the feminist movement. And the feminist movement had a, had a noble goal. It was to try and to correct the patriarchal society that, have, that has held women down for centuries, for millennia. And so what we wanted to get was equality. For men and women to finally, the glass ceiling is gone, all of these things are corrected and there's a balance again in the world, men and women. The equality movement wanted equality. Forty years later, we didn't get it. We didn't get equality. We got sameness. We're the same. Men have become more like women. Women have become more like men. And everywhere we feel this disconnection, this loss. We have such a thing in this world called the seduction community because there's no messages for men. There's no, we haven't had anybody say, son, this is a woman, and this is how you treat her. We didn't have it. So we invented it. That's remarkable. We no longer have the, the delight of the femininity and masculinity, the polarity there. 